Thank you, President Seidel. It's my privilege this morning to introduce to you our student speaker, Lucy Bennett. I'll be honest, it's, it's been a real privilege to get to know her in my short time as interim dean, so I'll try to describe a little bit about her before she takes the stage. So, Lucy will be graduating today with a major in management, a concentration in human resources, and a minor in marketing. But Lucy really epitomizes the character and spirit that we hope all of our graduates will have. And so I feel privileged to have gotten to know her. If you've been in the College of Business over the past few years, you couldn't have missed Lucy. Um, she characterizes herself as the face and the voice of the College of Business. I think she's right. She's been involved in all sorts of activities. She's a member of the Ethics Club, um, a student wellness ambassador, uh, club sports, and she served on our College of Business Advisory Board as our undergraduate student representative. But really, what will remind us of Lucy is her enthusiasm and, and her spirit, and we'll miss that when she leaves. In fact, the College of Business is going to be a quieter place. So Lucy will leave us today, and she has a few life adventures ahead of us. Um, she tells me that first she will enjoy a month of, of ski instructing in Vail because she wants to have one more season of instructing three to six-year-olds there. She'll travel a little, and then I guess it's just a minor event. She's going to get married. But then she'll start a career and that career will start at BNSF Logistics. Um, but we're lucky. Her position at BNSF is in talent acquisition. So we're certain that we're going to see Lucy Bennett a lot as she comes back to campus because of the talent, the incredible talent that really is here. So please welcome to the stage and the podium, Lucy Bennett. Get this party started. I gotta find my speech. Thank you. That's my roommate. <laughs> Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Lucy Bennett and I am honored to speak with you all today. So I'm a business management major and I have a bet going on with my roommate to insert the word synergies into the speech at least once. A dollar in bragging rights are on the line, so I do not plan to disappoint. You know, the visionary, icon, and street poet, Kanye West, once said, my greatest pain in life is that I will never be able to see myself perform live. I now know what he means. <laughs> I want to first start off by thanking you all. Thank you to all the parents, guardians, family, and friends for being here today. Thank you to all the faculty, staff, and administrative personnel for coordinating what is most likely a logistical nightmare. And finally, thank you to my family. Dad, thank you for your encouragement and support over the years. I will always admire how you led our household with a quiet confidence. Mom, thank you for leading our house with a not so quiet confidence. You've made me the person I am standing up here today. To my brother, Alex, thank you for being smart. By getting a PhD in nuclear engineering and knowing I could never understand the STEM field in the way you did, took the pressure off when I told mom and dad I was going to become a business major. <laughs> Today, I wanna to talk with you all about my journey, both my journey in life and my journey to UW. I'm originally from Golden, Colorado, and in high school, I was touring and applying to colleges like most students were, and UW spoke to me. I chose UW not only due to its proximity to my parents, but because of its modest size, cost of attendance, and growing student opportunities. Who knows? If I had gone to CSU, I could be grazing farmland right now and eating grass because I became a sheep. <laughs> Instead, I chose to become a cowboy. Entering college, I was riddled with fear and anxiety. Had I made the right decision? 
Would I make any friends? Was this where I was supposed to be? I've been trying to find the answers to these questions for most of my life. Not being able to identify and figure out who I was led to problems early on in life. I often tell people I was a bad kid, but that's a gross understatement. Since Vanderhoof Elementary School in Arvada, Colorado, I had a record of having a disruptive attitude in school. Not listening to teachers, hitting students, getting sent to the principal's office, and barely passing my classes. Even in elementary school, I was getting C's in classes like gym. So we're all thinking it. Who cares? What does it matter? Because what was my impact on the world? I mean, I was young, right? Maybe I didn't know any better. But I was nasty with my words. Some might say belligerent. The search for who I was as a person pushed me to misbehavior. I had to go to therapy with my mother. And when that didn't work, I got medication to calm me down enough to where I can manage my energy and not burden others. It truly breaks my heart that for a period of time in my life, I was not a positive force in other people's. It pains me to think that I brought down others just to feel better about myself. Now I eventually transferred schools, and my behavior got better through middle school and high school. But it wasn't until UW that I understood who I truly was. And now graduating, I feel more complete. I now feel like I'm living the life I'm supposed to live. The person who walked on campus three and a half years ago is not the same person standing up here today. My time at UW has taught me many things. Grit, perseverance, cowboy resilience, confidence that has made me love and celebrate life. My time at UW has taught me forgiveness and letting go. I stand on the stage still remembering but slowly accepting the person I was, and I can't change the past. But ever since freshman year, when I stepped foot on this campus, I've been on a journey to reinvent myself and discover who I am, what I stand for, and what my impact on this world will be. Now, I haven't shared my behavior problems with most people. I've alluded to it or I've joked about it, but I didn't really acknowledge it, thinking that maybe it didn't really happen as badly as it did. But it did happen. And my time at UW has made me realize that my path and my journey through life is not constant. And my past actions do not define my future success. I've leveraged the parts of who I am that people used to be repulsed by, my loudness and obnoxiousness, and it makes me successful at building connections with other people and creating synergies. <laughs> I now manage my personality as a catalyst to start conversations and have relationships with people. Education is beyond the classroom. The experiences, my time here, the community I've been surrounded by have changed me for the better. And despite accidentally punching the director of our new sales center in the face while we were playing a friendly game of basketball, I have gotten less aggressive. As I was preparing my speech, I did what most college students do, and I googled the best commencement speeches and picked the top three results. One really inspirational speech by Jacqueline Marsh didn't really resonate with me. She said, we gain the most value when we go the furthest. So to use school as an example, while going from an A minus to an A plus is certainly admirable, the student who went from a D minus to a B plus has a lot to say as well. And that kind of describes the person that I am, and I was, the person I'm still becoming. So what's next? Who's to say? I'm currently in the process of moving. My landlord is a wreck, and the only thing I'm not selling is my cat. <laughs> but I will continuously reinvent myself. I might learn how to play piano or take dance classes. Again, Kanye West said it best when he uttered, people always tell you to be humble, but when was the last time someone told you to be great, to be amazing, to be awesome? I ask that of you today. Ask yourself, what do you want to do? Who do you want to be? and then do it, manifest it. To parents and guardians, lead by example. Are you someone that you're proud of? It's never too late to reinvent yourself. Students, remember this, in heaven there is no beer, so drink it here. <laughs> Secondly, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. And lastly, the past does not define your future success. 
Maybe college was your time to shine, but so what if it wasn't? There's still time, but you have to start now. To you, Dub, I love you dearly. But for seven consecutive semesters, I've been battling with parking issues on this campus. <laughs> I know. Please do not take away any more spaces, and I look forward to the parking garage I've been hearing about. Again, to my family, thank you so much for adopting me and bringing me such a blessed life. And thank you so much for not giving me back when we went through those challenging times in elementary school. Well, graduates, it's time to reinvent ourselves. There's no time to waste. So let's make like butter and get on a roll. Thank you. <laughs>